Hi, I'm Jeremy Bullock, Boba Clap from Star Wars. And I go to yodanews.com. Hey, what's going out there, all Star Wars fans? Here we are back again from yodasnews.com. This is Brandon Jackson, and I'm bringing you another 1-6 scale review. Right here we have in front of us is a Hot Toys brand new 1-6 scale Snow Trooper Deluxe. And this is one that's actually based on Battlefront uh, 1. It is not actually based on the movie uh, character, which... Uh, I mean, I guess it sort of is, but it's more say the design is a little bit different from the actual Snow Trooper um, in The Empire Strikes Back. Very, very subtle difference. Not very much at all. Not even noticeable. Don't even really care. Just wanted to throw that out there. All right, so here's the box in front of you. You know, typical uh, style box Hot Toys does for, in, for most of their Star Wars collectibles. Hot Toys is a Star Wars symbol. And then down here we have... Snow Trooper Deluxe version and the sideshow symbol or Hot Toy symbol over there. Let's zoom in on that little thing right there. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, there we go. All right, enough about boxes. Uh, and of course, it has uh, beautifully displayed artwork right here. Big old explosion in the back. I think that's pretty awesome. Looks pretty sweet. All right, once again, enough about boxes and artwork. All right, here you have it. Here's a figure right here. Um, it's pretty awesome. Let me go ahead and bring it in for a closer look. Right here, it's on the side, the Hot Toys, excuse me, dynamic stand. Has this Snowtrooper Deluxe, I mean, footprints on it. Let's go ahead. It has this, the newer, Battlefront 2 style jetpack on it. So you get some details on it. I like it. Reminds me definitely uh, has some awesome detail in it. I like the burning, the paint. I like that. It was also cool. It comes with two different backpacks. It has original. Uh, snow trooper backpack and of course the fire uh, excuse me fire thrusters are adjustable so you can move them around like this the packs that actually come with it, it comes with two different packs here's the other one the more classic one it actually they're magnetic so it comes with the actual hooks um, like actually the cannon version is strap on but then you don't have, I mean, it doesn't just hang there, so it actually is magnetic to give it some extra support, take it off those hooks. Um, slight details, like I said, um, the pants are not as baggy as you'd find in um, The Empire Strikes Back. The pants are a little bit baggier. Um, the boots were a little bit more puffed out. Um, and the suit is definitely not as loose fitting as most of the um, characters you find. But all, all in all, um, it is pretty awesome, I guess. In another video, I give you guys a comparison of the Sideshow version versus this version. I did not get the twin pack just because I have Sideshow Snow Trooper. And I'm also going to be getting the, the Snow Trooper officer from Sideshow. So I don't feel like I need four Snow Troopers all together. I like the actual Sideshow Snow Trooper. They did a fantastic job with it. Um, so as in comparison wise, I think they're both awesome. And there's no need to really compare. There are two different figures uh, of the two different characters that look awesome as companions. And I'm definitely about to put this on the shelf. As soon as the review is over, detail, um, this thing is amazing. The only thing I don't like um, is this is the only base uh, option you have. It doesn't come with a backup base. It doesn't come with an alternative stand so you can just stand like the rest of them like with uh, with other figures. There's like two stand options and stuff like that. There's only this stand. So I had, I'm going to have to bend it down like this right now to make sure it can actually fit into my detail on the stand. It actually has pretty good stability. I can probably stand him up without the stand. I tried that earlier. He stood up pretty well, but um, 
I like stand. I pay for the stand. I want to use the stand. So I'll make it work. Um, and since I'm going to have them floating in the air, that's why I went ahead and chose the jet pack. I was going to go with the standard pack, but when I figured out putting it together that it only comes with this one type of stand, that is, that is sort of not an option. Um, but nonetheless, I like it. It's good. Um, oh, another thing, slight detail difference between this one and the Sideshow. It actually has a cloth little fabric, um, whatever you would call it, <laughs> that's in their face, baklava, of whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's so an actual, the one in Sideshow is, is actually like plastic that's built in and, and actual sculpted. So that's the only real difference between that. The helmet is good. The visor, um, the goggles, the detail on it, the weathering is outstanding. I definitely give this figure a 10 out of 10. Hot Toys did an amazing job. Um, the weathering on both guns and stuff. I actually, one thing I was really, I really noticed once I did this, uh, got this figure is that no other, nobody else in a 1-6 scale world has given us a figure with a rocket launcher up to date. So no clones, no stormtroopers. This is like the first one that actually comes with the rocket launcher. So it's pretty awesome. Uh, I probably use this with some of my stormtroopers or clone troopers or whatever just to take some photos and some scenes. Um, so that's definitely an addition that I'm glad I have on my shelf. Now I'm thinking about giving a heavy, heavy blaster. I don't know if I would still want to get it. The thing takes up a lot of space, but I'm definitely considering it more. All right, let's go ahead and give her one last loop around. And there you have it, Hot Toys 1-6 scale Snow Trooper Deluxe. And this is Brandon Jackson signing out from yodasnews.com. May the force be with you, and bye-bye.